Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we can have Doug in the house. Probably the most frequent question about the Bugatti haulers, how are we going to get into it? Well, today we're going to try to show you as quick as we can. Um, what's going on here? We have this floor section has been not covered up. I had a piece of uh, plastic on there the whole time. And the reason being is I did not know myself until I come to it. So what I've done is I've got Doug to cut me some square stock. We put some, we put some uh, ribs in it, some rafters in it. Um, and the reason being is I think we're going to end up putting our feet there. Uh, we, we have a piece of metal that's cut and ready to be bead rolled. We want to slide that in there. We are going to sheathe this part of the truck. We know that this part is, this part is going to be a door now. Um, for The reason being is for the engine to come out and for the reason of the dog hose. We want to be able to get that in and out if we want it to. Um, we put a sheet on the back this morning. Uh, we put the wheel lip opening on the back this morning so I can continue on with the bumper. Uh, we are really cooking with gas. So let's find out how we're gonna get in this bad boy and we'll do it as we go. First thing I got, or first thing we have, is a piece of metal I can't pick up. Perfect. Thanks, Douglas. I'm going to get a pair of glasses. We've got a piece of metal made for uh, the first section of the door opening to go into the truck. I want to bead roll that and um, put that in there. We have this piece here. So we're going to, we're going to go as quick as we can um, to try to get this done. We are. If Jolene will be so kind as to try to... Can you, are you able to hold the other end a little bit? You don't have to, like... Actually, I'll get it. I got it. But, okay, that'd be great. Ready? That's rock and roll, man. Cooking with gas. Gas. Be quite a fire, though, wouldn't it? Cooking with gas. It would, wouldn't it? It would. I love the small barbecue. I couldn't tell. Whoa, just go slow there, bye. You can say the same about me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Super fast. Very slow up. Go ahead. Doug's just trying to see how good I am. Oh, yeah. You mess up, I'll call you out on it. <laughs> whoa. 17 minutes straight mess up. Mm -hmm. That's minor. I got 48 years in. 17 minutes. Forgot about that. I'm going for a new record. Whoa. Let's go slow. Perfect. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. We'll take a rag, Doug, yes, and we'll get sir. that wiped off. Yep. Please and thank you. I'm going to get with the welder and get geared up for the back of this bad boy. <clears throat> so what we got going on is we're going to put that that first step getting into the truck. We're going to put that in there. We've never put that in there yet, so we're going to do that right now. I think I've said it before. The hardest thing sometimes about welding is moving the machine around. Sometimes. It can be. So we're cooking, we're, I say cooking with gas, we're really moving along quite quickly. Uh, me and Doug shoved, she shoved that piece on there uh, earlier on today. We got it moved on. We took the rib that we cut out of here. If Jolene wants to come show you, we stuck that rib, the second rib, beside this rib to give us um, almost four feet on that side so we didn't have to cut much of it off and that worked out really well. Um, I'm going to grab my helmet. The rusty looking part was... It was like that, wasn't it? Nope. It goes in, it goes in like that. I'm pretty sure it goes in like that. So we're going to put this piece in. I probably should have saved my helmet for... For last. <laughs> You're in there somewhere, right? Get that put in there nice. 
ship that over there. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We do. We appreciate it. We're that kind of people we are. Is it right on? No, I don't want, I don't want to do that. Let me shove it back some so it looks straight. Hmm. Was it that way, Doug? Hmm. Gonna check it out. Uh, I thought it was actually. Could have changed it and run. Things on the fly here. Nope. One way fit a little better than the other, so we're going to go for it. We're going to nail this down as quick as possible. Doug, yes, if sir. you wanted to stand, come up, come up here and stand, you can just put your foot down on that gently. Gently. I don't do anything gently. Is that right? Not really. Maybe put your foot. Yeah, something like that there. We'll have to buff that off after. There's ribs there, so I'm just gonna pull this in. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. I like to try to keep all, all the spot welds about the same distance apart. Just so it looks good. It wasn't a good one, was it? Doug? Yes, sir. Which, sir? You want to grab me a hammy, body hammer? Mm -hmm. It's right over there, right behind Jolene. Excuse me, Mr. Jolene. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, I didn't want to bend that. Watch okay. your eyeballs. You can come back and do some standing if you want, Doug. Okay, here we go. Yes. Just kind of put your foot right here. Start this in there, right? That's all I want. I think what I'm going to do is pour your foot back, Doug. Step on this part. Ah, 
Ah, knew it was acting funny. Little thing caught in the tip. It does not want to come off. Alrighty. You got a little, uh, grab a little piece of that square stock back there, Doug, and I'll get you to push down, push down on this. Just don't, I don't want no dents or anything, I just want it held down, right? Yeah. Push down. Move along. Push down. Yep. Yep. Should push down on that in the corner, right in the corner. See if it goes down. You need to go. Just want to hit it with the hammer. There you go. There we go. There we go. Making sure everything's down tight. All right. Push down on here, Doug. You let her go. I'm going to tap it with a hand. Seems like it's down tight. Awesome. All right, Doug, I want the... You want to push down that right there for me? Thank you. Come ahead, Lynch. Just come back just a little bit. Yep. It's actually pretty good, so I'm going to... Come back just a little bit. Yep. I'm not sure if I want to take some off. If you'll pass me the flapper wheel, just buzz a little bit off. We got the same thing done to the other side. This one here, this side, has ribs underneath that you've seen before we even started. I'm just going to knock off. Knock off some metal on this side so I can get some metal taken off. Put that plugged in, Doug. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Got some metal overhanging on this a little bit, and it's going to make it hard for it to weld down, so I'm just going to knock it off a little bit. Down. You want to push, take that bar, Doug, and hold down on that. That's good. Leave right there. Go ahead.
Teamwork, thank you. That went well. Just gonna knock that off for a second. Now, there's three ribs underneath there. You should take the tire off and get them down and get that put down and then I can plug it to it. Let's, let's get the impact and take that wheel off of you, Will Doug, please sure and thank thing, you. Should have said that earlier, but. Right here, here. Oh, you got it? Yep. You're a bad cat. You did say it earlier. Oh, good. I actually listened for once. <laughs> you listened to me, you said. <laughs> I listened for once. So what we got going on here, we didn't put the, we did not put the ribs on the other side because we're not getting in on the other side. And it's going to be ladies before gentlemen. So Joan will go in first, and then I'll get in. Show, show, wait. We'll, we'll show you. Where am I going to sit? I'm going to hook you to the back on the trailer hitch. Sweet. I love it. <laughs> on the trailer. As long as I'm included. Waving. Matters. We have some other wheels. We just can't get the nuts off them, so we're gonna have to get an impact big enough to get the wheels off, but we have got other wheels to try for the front. Uh, we will be doing that very shortly. We will be doing that very shortly. Let me take all the wheel nuts. One took off. One took off? Yeah. Just like one flew out the cuckoo's nest. Two just took off. Two took off. I'll chase them down. Okay? Doug, your ass is eating your underwear. Yep. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'll get you back up there again, Doug. What? No way. And you're going to step your foot on top of that piece of metal again. Yes, sir. We're going to plunk that down on. It's time. Like, Not back here. Up hip. Right up here, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Your sneaker starts burning, no worries. I'm not gonna worry. Am I on fire? Not yet. Going down around the. Can you stand forward on this piece right here? Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Put your foot back here. Yeah, good. It's good. Stop it. Okay. I don't know if I need to go the other side or not, but. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We'll do that for now. We'll do that for now. I can always come in and do more. 
and do the other side. Stand on that duck. Please and thank you. Yeah, you know. Oh, I didn't say jump. <laughs> All right, that's good. You're more than welcome to move. Good. Clean that all up. Alrighty, so we have a place that we can jump in this bad boy. It's right on that square stock. Some of that square stock has to be finished off being welded, and that's okay. That's what we have to do, and that's what we will do. Now, we're going to cover this side in. We're going to show you where the door is going to be and how it's going to be and all that sort of stuff. I was thinking about or talking to Jolene about, can you frame the door up? Well, if I take some square stock and run along here, some three-quarter inch and smaller stuff, and I squared it up and made the door and what, tacked it to this piece all the way around and put another rib in the center to make the door, when I covered it with sheet metal, ha, I'm just, I, wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to get the door or this piece cut open uh, to get the door or get this opened up, if you know what I'm trying to say, because I would not be able to see from the top side where to cut it because I'm three quarters inch in. What's that? Yes, I would. Be, yes, I would because I would have. The piece of metal on the top. Yes, I would on this piece, but this is not a four foot piece. Yes, I would. So you are right, sweetheart. I am on this piece. I would not be able to see. And the reason being is I'm putting a four, sheet, four foot sheet on this piece. And if I'm cutting my door out of this piece, I would not see nowhere to cut it. Or I couldn't be able to cut it open because I have my three quarter inch nail on here. I'd have to slide my zip cut in between uh, two pieces of metal and try to cut a piece of metal and it'd just kind of be rough, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut open. I'm gonna do a couple things here first. This piece here was put in for structural and this piece is getting cut out now because this is going to be our doorway. I'm going to cut this piece out, move this piece down a little bit so it's like a little step to get in. I got this for a brace for the front. I put that there on this side and that side and the reason being I thought about the front being hanging over the wheels, it was all hanging there, that I would want that to be um, supported. But as, as we get looking at it, I don't, I'm not going to cut that out, mind you, but as you get looking at it, it would have to pull that center piece all the way in that truck. It would have to pull that in half. It would have to pull all these ribs all the way on the other side, along this side. I got them cut out here, but it would have to pull all these ribs off to bend that front down. It would have to bend this wheel opening arch here. Well, this is pieces in here. It would have to bend that to pull that down. So I feel like I'm, I'm fine with it. I want to keep this. But I feel like it would be fine without it, but I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to cut this piece out. Let's do it. Now, just kind of wondering. This is what I didn't figure out. When I put the extra rib in here, do I still have four feet? See, it's a little less than four feet, but I still would be able to see because that's where I'm nailing it, nailing it on here and there. I get a little less than four feet. That's fine. All right, let's do this. Cut this one out. I'm going to put this back in, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to put it back in. And the reason I'm going to put it back in is I have it. Um, I have this piece here, so I'm just going to lay it on top of this piece and then bring it across there. When you step in, you're going to have to step over that tiny little step. I know you can do it. And 
that's, that's one thing about building something like this. When there's no set plans, sometimes you put stuff in the vehicle that's going to be cut back out. Obviously, uh, that rib was cut out there. We made that rib. But I think it was better to make that rib to get it done and set everything in place and then cut it out after. To me, it'd be, it'd be crazy to say I'm going to set it up here and then I'm going to measure that door and, and do it that way. seems more difficult to me. Start it up, make it the way you want to look. Whatever you don't need, then cut it out. Now, this part here is going to be the doorway to get in. This is going to be your first step. This is the doorway for the engine cover. So when you want to get out the engine, you're going to open the door, pull the, pull the bread box back, and then you get into the engine. When you want to get into the truck, this door is coming up. Uh, we're going down. We're up off the ground right now. We're going down about seven inches probably, so it's not that high. To be honest, it's quite low. I'd like to pick it up some in the front if I could. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece in first. I'll tack that and then we'll put that in straight. You got your tape measure, Doug? Nope. All right, you come on to the other side if you like. And you can tell me where to tack it. I'm just going to lay it on top of here. You hold that side, will you please? I'm just going to throw that in. I just want to throw it back in the truck. It's because why not? One will hold it in place. A little measurement from there to there and make it the same, way. 16 or six and a six and an eighth. Six and an eighth. That's beautiful right there. Check it again if you like, please. Please. Six, six and an eighth right on the money. Awesome. We're gonna weld that bad boy in. <laughs> Don't wanna waste that piece. I think it's good structural stuff. Got the welder set quite high, which is nice. It's burning in real good. Um, I'll weld these in right now, I guess. flush that weld off and the reason being is if we lay if we lay the outside metal on top of this um, if there's anything that's hanging out it's going to make a mark if you know what I'm trying to say if I had a little piece of weld hanging out put the metal down top of it it's, it's going to show when you put the metal out Um, what am I thinking? That has to be welded before I take off and do any more. I want to weld that up. I'm going to hit the, the heavy stuff first because the light stuff would burn right through. I got the welder set up quite heavy.
and I would not really be able to get at that very well uh, when it's covered. So that's why I'm doing it right now. Yo, that's hot. Just turned up how that's all. I'm gonna take the flapper wheel and knock some of this off, make sure there's no bumps. See that sticking it like that? That could cause havoc when it comes time to put the side on. That sticking out there will be a dent. Got a pinhole. I don't want no pinholes. Now, I'm going to go up and nail that down up there, so when it comes time to that on, we're in good, good hands. Now remember, we have a piece going all along the center. Um, we're gonna put that all along the center and hold that down, or make it straight. It does not, it's not too bad actually, right in the present moment. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't bad. Right? Doesn't bad at all. All right, here comes the part where we're gonna make her look good. So we're gonna end up sheathing this part, um, and then we'll cut out the sections that we do not need, or we're not gonna use. And we're going to go for it. Let's do it, Doug. Sounds good. This time, on the last time we did it, we started at the top, at the bottom, clamped it on, and then ran it to the top. On this, on this side, we're going to start at the top because I don't want to have to try to get up in there and cut that top off before I get in there and I cut the top off and laid it on that straight rib going across. Well, this time, to make it easier on us, we'll start at the top and let it hang down over and we'll cut it off at the bottom. This is sheet number, I'm not sure what this is, but it's getting up there. It's getting up there. Um, I got a grinder there I don't want to cut the cord off of. Whoop, there you go. A little rough in there. Oh, just sometimes. Just one second, I want to knock, just put this up against here for a second. I think I want to knock that back a little bit. You want to give me that zip cut, Doug, there please, and plug that in, zip cut. You don't want that in your way. I just wanna knock this back a little bit. We got a little bit going on here. That looks really good going down there, but we're that's the closest spot. You'll wanna move that grinder there though, cause we'll have that. I'm gonna throw this end up on there. We should be on that rib halfway. Or I'm gonna go up top with the, with the welder. Doug's, Doug's gonna stay down here and adjust it. That steel looks really nice, don't it? It's nice, and, nice and shiny compared to the other stuff. Alrighty. Trying to work quickly, obviously, so we can show you what's going on. We didn't put no ribs underneath this stuff. Nothing's going. No one's going to be standing on there, so it, it has got a little bit of a boing to it. But um, in, all, in all honesty, there's no one standing there, so why would it matter? Push it up, Doug, please. Whoop. Ready. 
Um, I'm going to I'm going to tack this over here, and the reason being is it fits good, and then I'll let your side come down. Just a little tack, just a little tack. Let this side come down a little bit, then. Right, a little bit more. Right there. I'm going to tack it. Probably tacked it quite a ways away. I did. Tell me, what's it look like on your side? It's almost straight in the line, but I can't really tell. Let, let, the, let the, the sheet fall. How much are we missing down there? Are we missing it? Are we hitting it? Or no, we? no, we're good. We got a good line here, but you're touching a little bit up there. Man. Oh, That's okay. no big deal at all, man. Okay. We're almost missing right here, though. Actually, so it's going to be turned. Down. So it's going to be turned. Well, I mean, if we push it down and weld it along there, it'll come No, I down. have to. Well, I have to cut that off. Let's cut that. We got to cut them both off. You want to pass me the zip cut, old brother? Kind of zip. You want to pass me the zip cut? What's what's happening here is so we're out over and above on that one. Okay. Got a little zealous that I did. You might want to whack the bottom again because it might take off down. You might want to just hold the bottom. Both sides. Might want to get right in the middle, Doug, just like he was before. All right, we're going to go with the other side, this, this, this side first. Push up. Push up. Stand up. Gotta come up. Push her up. All right, good. Keep coming. No, set. Yeah. That one's fitting good there now, isn't it? Yeah, it looks it. Yeah. Wanna touch it? Yeah. Get a little tack on her. Now, can this side come up? There you go. What? Take it hey, right off, does it? Yeah, it slipped right off. It's good right here. It's good right there, is it? Just come up a little bit more, Doug? On this side? It's kind of like I got, I got to turn it and that makes it fall off over there. That, that, made, that makes it fall off, Jay. Yeah. That makes, you, that makes you miss, buddy. Okay. Right around there is about as max you can go, right? I don't, I don't want, what? I, let's let's mash, let's let's worry about that side. Yeah. Let's get that I side. I gotta take that back off again. I gotta do it again. I wanna hold it, gonna take it off. Now, let's get this side over here looking good. Push her up, push her up, push her up, push her up, push her up on this side, push the whole thing up, push it up, okay, now, how's your side, how's this side look? There. Huh? There's your mark. Let it come down a bit? Actually, I can let this side overlap because we're going to go right over top of this. That's fine. How's, the, how's that whole line running? It looks better. It's good, but it's yeah. close down here like, as it wraps down. It's close? You yeah. know, overlapping? Yeah. Overlapping or not overlapping? Yeah, like it's, okay, it's, it'll be fine. Yeah, it touches. Yeah. Push you're, it out. You're good. You're good. You're good. You let it down. So <laughs> 
story, man. No, no worries. Push it up. Now, it has a line if you let it come down. Good. Looks good. Sounds good. Let it down a little bit. But keep it. Right there. How's your line now? We're still on. Yeah, but is it tight or is it loose? It's tight up there, loose down here. We'll make it make it tight. Is that tight? Yep. Good. Now, is it okay still? Looks good to me. Still good going down that line? This is the line we're yeah, worried about. It's going right down the line. It's okay, good. Almost too tight. Don't be like this. That's good if it's tight. It's good. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I can get up there and tighten that up any time I can. Awesome. Now let's take some clamps and run it down. That's uh, nice. I like that. Okay, good. I like that. Uh, it fits that, does it? Yeah. Pretty We're close, but. No, I want it to fit. <laughs> well, I mean. Okay. What? Yeah. C yeah. clamps. Well, let's let's. It's it's hanging up over this side, so we're going to make this side. This will push it over a little bit. And that's the name of the game, I guess. Just trying to get that stuff to fit. Is that doing anything for that? Yeah. I just want to get this, we'll nail that side down with the welder. Yeah. I just want to get this side. Yeah. No, we'll push that down. Yeah, I see, I see what's going on here. As long as we got some going. Beautiful. See how that's clamped that over quite a ways. You notice that? Yeah. So I clamped that. Look, it's over crossing there now. Yeah. So it really does matter. It really does matter. How about we come down together? Is what I'm trying to say. Is that still? Just have as much pressure on it, but so is some. Um... I need the stool, if you don't mind, to be here. Let's take this one off. It's still down. We'll just go like that. Let's turn the welder on, Douglas. You want to give me the helmet, please? Thank you. Good. You want to turn that bad boy on? Now, I should actually, I'm going to put this one on. It's like putting on anything. See how it's kinkling over this side? Yeah. yeah we just got to do the same, exact same thing we did on the other side. So I'm going to go one more on this side, and I'll come on that side. Let's see if we can't get this thing run down here right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did that come up on me a little bit then? Yeah. It's nice. Side hump up on me, did it? 
all it is is I, I think what's going on is the center rib must be a little bit higher than right. the center rib is holding us in position and I don't mind it and the reason being is it gives it gives it shape I'm gonna do this What's that? Just got some pressure on it. Good. That's what we want. The reason we want pressure on it is so it has shape. It's good. Leave that one off. Not all these fit the greatest. You want to give me the the um, th third arm there. That one do. Yeah, excellent. Where's the good one with the arm? I don't know where the other one is. We already had some. Yeah, we're getting a dirty old buckle, aren't we? Yes. I'm gonna go with that right there. And we're gonna hammer that out. That's fine. How's that side? It's got a lot of pressure, right? It's just pretty stiff. Oh, just yeah. wants to buckle too. Don't it. Just hold it. Don't put it. Don't, you, can, you can put it on, but just don't put a dent in it. That's all. If you can help it. I think it will. Yeah, that's nice. what's going on. That third rib is really holding her up. Second. of a buckle going on there, isn't it? There's a bit of one, yeah. That's fine. Okay. That's minor. That's fine. That is minor. Good. This one has to be welded solid all the way down here because this is where the door is going to be. That has to be welded solid. So I'm going to weld over to that square stock all the way on this side. So this side's, this side is doing well. Just trying to weld it where it's tight and right. We've got her tight all the way down there and now we got to go fix this. We cannot get, that's fine, get my third arm, third arm going. You want to give me that third arm, bud? Oh, I'll take yeah. the other one over here if you don't mind. I, I didn't even see it. Where is that? There. No some worries. Ah, it was What's pushing. going on is you can see, or I can see, that that rib in the middle, right here, that rib right there, 
is really putting pressure on that metal. And that's, 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 that's all right because um, some of this is being cut out. Actually, actually, this metal here is being cut out. So that's really good. Like, so where this is, where I've got a little bit extra going on here, that's fine because I'm gonna be cutting it out. You know, right on the side of that, I'm gonna be cutting that out. And where it goes on here, that's also fine too, but I just gotta knock it down. I never thought about that, to be honest with you. We're cutting that out, so that's that's all hunky-dory, that is. We're gonna push this down. We're just going to leave that for a minute. It's going good. It's going good. Here's where we're going to have a little bit of an issue. happy with that and the reason I'm happy with that is because uh, that's being cut out and we'll see. I'm gonna weld that right there You're hitting on the floor? Hitting on the floor. We probably should have jacked it up and uh just gonna knock this on. Let's get the jack, Doug, and jack it up. We'll put the... Well, this is one we've really have a few issues with, I guess. We'll jack it up and we'll put it on bigger jack stands. Where? We got a little extra metal right there. Not, not, that doesn't bother me. And what's going on is that center rib is really playing havoc with what we're doing. I just, just slide it in through the center there, down through the whole center. Yeah, you can go in that, just slide in the whole way, right past. What's that going to help you? I help you. That takes it up any further or not. You might need a block on that. Got one? Grab a wooden block there and shoot on top of her knuckles. Please and thank you. Yeah, that center rib is really playing, playing havoc. <laughs> it's true life struggle, isn't it, Doug? You're going to have to center yeah. that up better than that, Douglas. <laughs> You're going to put... I don't know if that yeah. was... A, 
don't know if we want that or not, but. I, I don't think I would, I suppose the jack stands are there. Yeah. But, um, all it can do is make you thinner. <laughs> yeah. I don't, Ouch. I don't know if I, yeah, I'd get out of there for a minute. We'll just make the danger, danger. Give them another click up of the, the jack stands. I wouldn't. You got more than enough. Huh? You got more than enough on the floor here, anyways. But... Ah, you son of a bitch. Excuse my licorice. Slide underneath that now? Okay. Yeah. I'd slide underneath the. Let's bring it back in just a second. I don't want this to be down inside. All right. That should be good. Right there. We're on our jack stands. Now we're going to commence to making this fit. Man, issues after issues, eh? All right, I'm gonna put the helmet back on. Doug's putting the pressure on, so I might as well get at it. How, is your, how, how does the front? How's the front look up there? Good. What's that? Excuse me, Doug. That looks good. here we just want to get these yeah, on down here and then we, then we got our beat once we get yeah. this See that ribbon there, can you not? No, I can. I can. But that's okay because that's where it's going to end. Um, this is the only piece that's getting covered, so that's okay. Um, this is going to be. Right down. I'm gonna hit this with this bottle weld here. Could cut that and shrink that, but I don't feel like it's necessary.
And the reason it's not necessary is I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. Not necessary. No. A little couple of ripples there. It's not our it's not our, our finest our our finest piece put on by far. But it's okay. All right, let's tack it in amongst the wheel well there. I'll get in here. You want to take a board and run down across it, Doug? Push a board on the. Doug's going to take a board and push in on it. Here somewhere. Push, push that in hard as you can, old brother. Okay, um, we're going to have to get that tighter in on that wheel well. Um, I just run it. Yeah, I'm, I'm tight here, so I might as well run it all the way down. On that hard, but it is what it is. I would have liked to stay on the other side, but I'm going to do their side, Douglas. Yeah, yeah. But let's plant that on there. Why not, eh? I got one. Grab your board. Clamp yours on too, or no? Probably not. It doesn't matter. No. Okay. Down, down here is no place I can do it. <laughs> so. Come on. All right. Got to get inside. I could clamp it all the way down, would be nice. Let's do that. Clamps? Please. Yeah, you can give me them set. Are you, are you going to clamp yours, are you? Go for it. Any more there? Or yep. just... That's pretty well. Got, you got that on that end. I'm thinking. Okay, 
I guess, so I guess I want you to push that board. Maybe in, maybe in the center probably be the best spot because that's already nailed down there. It's all nailed down yep. in that part. Just wait till I get in there. You have to waste your strength. Tight. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll get up in there now. Push her in, Doug, tight. Yep. Okay. in here too close sometimes, messing myself up. Pushing in on her duggles. Mm -hmm. Hot and heavy. Doug, you see where it's not welded on the wheel well yet? It's like, I got all these spots around the wheel well. Yep. Right where it's not welded, it's got to come in something awful. Yeah, right there. There. Yeah, it's going to go in a lot. Maybe I can cut it out and then we can put it on tight after. That's probably yeah, maybe. Uh, I got, that's, that's where my board is. I can hook my board here. Second. Push on it directly a bit more. Going to what do you think? Um, what do I think? I think it, we're in a this one's being rough. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. This one's being rough. Watch yourself, watch yourself, I don't want to burn you. Yeah. that open. Ah. Ouch, 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 ouch. What did I do? Nothing. I put that hot water up my armpit. All right. 
Damn. Man, this one's being a bugger, eh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? We're it's being a bugger. We're death with that one there this morning as well. That one, that one works so well, is that why? All right, yeah. so what's going on here now? You want to get right here? No, I have to go inside and tack this on. Yeah, I do, but I want to cut that off. Let's, let's do this. I want to go in here and cut all that on. On this rib, on this one, on the inside. And the reason being... I want to throw them on the... They can't. Just, yeah. It's going to connect the rib on the middle. And the reason being is we're cutting that one out for the door that we're going to put in. Show you how we're going to get in this bad boy. I'm going to knock this one down up here a couple more times. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack it on. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tack it on this side because if I tack it on this side, when we cut that open, um, it, it could have a chance to flop off. And I don't want it to flop off. I want it to stay on. That was terrible. Very good, but let's do it somehow. Get in here a little bit further. Now. Nice. I'm going to have to do it on the top because I can't get it anywhere else, to be honest with you. See, we've got that one tacked on that side. Of it. Splatter, but all right. Yep, turn it off for a second. There's a rib going right there, that's why there's no spot weld there. Rough that up, I did a few places. Alrighty, we've got it. We've got it put on. What do we at, Jolene? One fifteen. All right, it sounds good for sounds good for today. One fifteen. We've got it put on, and you can see how we've got it all tacked on. It's not going anywhere. Um, 
Right, this is, what, this is what's gonna happen. You come back tomorrow and we'll show how we're gonna cut the door open and we'll frame it up and we'll go from there. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a little while yet to get everything done, what we wanna get done to show you. Uh, I wanna thank you for coming back. We appreciate it. If you wanna come and view this way, sweetheart, just see what's going on here. Um, we, ha we are getting it slowly. So this is the back piece we put on this morning. Um, this is the piece that we put on. Uh, you just watched us do it. I want to thank you for coming back and watching. You come tomorrow and we'll cut the doors out and we'll show you how we're going to do it and how we're going to get into it. So put a like in and put a comment in and subscribe. Um, say good job, Doug. Good job, Jolene. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks very much for coming back. Let's, let's get at her.